Hi family, welcome into our channel. This is Nikki and I'm gonna dive right into this video but we would ask you to subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell so when we upload future videos, you're not gonna miss any information that you need to know. The only person that's punishing you is you. We're so hard on ourselves sometimes. God is asking you not to be hard on yourself, family. The only one that is punishing you is you. Don't be so hard on yourself. And if you have any unresolved anger issues, if you have any unresolved resentment or bitterness, not saying that you do, but just search yourself. If you have these issues going on in your life, release them. Because this is what's going to hinder the anointing to flow freely in your life. If there is forgiveness that you need to give, release forgiveness. If there is an area in your life where you need to repent, repent, turn around, and go back to God. Use the power that God gave you. Use that kingdom authority that God gave you. How do we use the power that God gave us on the inside of us in that beautiful spirit God gave us? He wanted us to use this. And how do we use it? By speaking faith and by acting. This is how you use the power that God gave you. You speak your faith and you begin to act your faith. God has given you every reason to live. God has given you every reason to soar. He's given you every reason, family, why you can. But the enemy will always give you an excuse as to why you shouldn't and why you wouldn't, why you couldn't why you can't he will always condemn you he will always make you feel guilty the enemy will always make you feel ashamed but god say for your former shame he said i'm going to give you double for your trouble put your name there for my former shame my former shame god is going to give you double for your trouble don't punish yourself another day in your life the enemy wants you to punish you by rehearsing all of those bad things that happen to you over and over and over and over again, family, release them. The more you think on things that are not good, the more you're going to magnify them, the bigger they're going to become. God asks us to meditate on things that are just and holy, pure and of a good rapport. Use your thoughts for good because you're going to create the world that you want or you're going to create the life that you don't want. The drivers that you you are in the driver's seat of your life. You have the wheel, you have the authority, and the Holy Spirit is your internal GPS. The Holy Spirit is gonna lead you, the Holy Spirit is gonna guide you. Stop beating yourself up. The only person that's punishing you right now is you. Forgive yourself for loving somebody that didn't love you back. Release that person that you still have lingering in your spirit. Give that soul tie to God. Give these things up to God, release it, because it's, it's destroying you. Don't punish you. Don't do that. That's not the will of God. That is from the enemy because the enemy knows if he can get you in a dark place long enough, family, he knows you're going to give up. He knows you're going to lose heart. He knows you're going to faint. He knows you're going to quit. He knows you're going to turn around. He knows you're not going to go forward. This is confirmation for somebody. Stop beating yourself up. Stop beating yourself up. You did not deserve one, one thing that happened to you. You did not. Maybe you were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Maybe you were with the wrong people at the wrong time in your life. But God is going to place you at the right time. He's going to put the right people in your life, family of God. God is a, a restorer. And he's going to restore you. He's going to restore all the years the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the locust has eaten up out of your life. We are the worst enemies to ourselves sometimes, and the enemy knows it. Sometimes when the enemy can't play other people against you, he will use us to play against ourselves. Don't allow the enemy to use what you've been through with to play against you, to defeat you, and to destroy you. No, you use the things that you've gone through with. You use these things as a stepping stone. You allow God to elevate you from this place. You allow God to get the glory out of your life. Don't you beat yourself up another day. Don't you play the game blame another day. Don't you fall victim and pray and succumb to what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants your peace. Don't you give the devil your peace. How do you keep peace? By keeping your mind meditated on the word of God. This is how you and I will keep peace. By meditating, muttering over the word of God daily. Then we will find our way prosperous through God as believers. We can't go any other way because we're not going to prosper. We're not going to succeed. And God will allow our plans to fail for people of God because God has determined 
you're in from the beginning. Stop blaming yourself. The only one that is punishing you is you. Don't punish yourself. This is what the enemy wants. He wants you to have a pity party for yourself. Don't have a pity party for yourself. Don't blame blame you, family. Stop blaming yourself. Throw these things in a seal of forgiveness and don't remember them anymore. We know we have memory. But what that means is don't allow things to come before you. What will, will hinder what God wants to do in your life. Let it go. Let it go. That means you take your power back and you let it go. You take your authority back and you let it go. You are in the driver's seat of your own life. You choose. You choose. God will lead you. He will direct you where you need to be and where you need to go. This is a word for somebody. I feel this in my spirit because you're blaming yourself for all the bad things that's happened to you. God is perfecting you. And as God's remnant, as a chosen people, as a royal priesthood and chosen generation, that's just the way it is. We will suffer the most, but we're going to come out purified. We're going to come out better than what we went in. You're going to be a living testimony. And God is going to get the glory out of it. Everything you go through with, everything I go through with in life, everything God's people, no matter where they are on the earth today, God is going to get the glory out of your life, family. He's going to get the glory out of it. You may feel bad now, but you hang in there with God. Hang in there with the word of God. Use the power that you have. Speak faith and you act on it. Faith will always require a corresponding action. You got to say something and do something. Say something and do something. Don't blame yourself. Stop punishing yourself for doing well by people that didn't do that didn't do well by you. Stop punishing yourself for helping people, for sacrificing wherever you did and you didn't get it back. God is going to compensate you for what you've done. Don't you know that? Listen. People probably didn't appreciate it, but God did. God is going to reward you for what you've done, people of God. I don't care who didn't come back and say thank you. It doesn't matter who didn't show you appreciation or gratitude. God is going to do that. This is an opportunity for God to show you how much he appreciates the heart that you have. And by obeying him, even if you obey God and you bless someone, help somebody, was there for somebody in whatever aspect that God told you to be there for that person, and they did not show you one ounce of gratitude, God said, I am. God said, I'm going to repay you for what you've done. I'm going to compensate you for your obedience. I'm going to reward you for your obedience. And we don't serve God just to get. We don't. We serve God because we love him. We serve God because of all the goodness he's done for us. And we deserve not anything good. We don't. We know what we deserve. This is why we love God. This is why we love on him. This is why we witness to people. This is why we do our best to obey him, family, because where God has brought us from, we've all been in a cesspool in life. And if you're still living and if you're still breathing, you may find yourself in another one. This is why you don't put people down when you're up. God don't let you see your tomorrow. God is looking at how we react to trouble, how we respond to negativity always respond in faith these are just tests these are lessons these we, we're training god is teaching us how to respond and not so much to react all the time don't punish yourself another day don't whoever was supposed to protect you and didn't don't punish yourself for that don't punish anybody anymore for what they've done forgive yourself family forgive you Forgiving yourself is one of the hardest things that you have to do, but you have to learn to forgive yourself because then you're going to feel worthy of what God has to give you. If you can't forgive yourself, you will rob yourself out of an amazing future. God gave you every reason to live and not to exist, and the enemy has given you every excuse why you shouldn't. So whose report are you going to believe? What decision are you going to make? You live. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to forgive yourself. You're going to release that unforgiveness, resentment, and bitterness, and anger that you might have. Not saying you do. That you possibly might have in your spirit. 
so that you can get to the next dimension in God, so that you can get, get to the next level in God. God wanted me to let you know to stop punishing yourself for what you've done. Stop punishing yourself, family, for loving somebody that broke your heart. Stop rehearsing these negative things over and over and over, what they promised you and what you said you would have. That is done. It is over, family of God. It has served a purpose. They have served a purpose. And you may not understand this now. You may not see this now. But God is going to show you. Just hang in there with God. These people elevated you. These people promoted you. These people gave you such a great anointing. When I say gave you, we know God gave you the gift. But these people help you. Because it calls you to get on your face before the Lord. It calls you to enhance your prayer life. It calls you to lean and depend on God like you never have. This is what God requires us to do. Obey. And when we go through things that are challenging... When we go through upheavals in life, you may be in a tsunami of a storm right now, but draw closer to God. Because God said those of us who are of a broken and a contrite spirit, he's right there. He's close. If you're broken, God said, I'm close. We love you here. God bless you. Talk later. Don't punish yourself another day. Don't. You don't deserve that.